Portuguese. Going on. Altimeter is reset. Fuel is sufficient. Charlie one, nothing else. The Zulu is approaching from the north. We're standing over at Joint for runway one nine. Charlie one. Right, uh, welcome everyone back to the channel. Today we're at Darley Moor, I've taken a day's leave and uh, I wanted to go flying before the weather changed. It's, uh, it's been a fantastic week and I just want to get some more PB air time. Okay. Uh, wind and weather have been assessing, uh, wind and activity, we've got one in the overhead, uh, engine T's and P's are looking good. <coughs> Dynamore traffic is Gold Fox Trot 2 2, lining up runway 19 for departure to the west. Okay, feels good. Dynamore traffic from Gold Fox Trot 2 2, lining up runway 19, Dynamore. So for those that might not recognise our voice, that's the voice of my instructor, Mark, who's on a fixed wing lesson at the moment. It just feels a bit surreal flying with him at the same time on my own. It's a gorgeous day. It's really hot, but it doesn't actually feel that thermic at the moment. And today we're just going to do a local trip um, out to uh, JCB. Yeah, local trip out to JCB and then uh, fly around Alton Towers and then come back. What a gorgeous day. It is feeling quite different flying the Quantum and this aircraft. Not just because of the size and the inertia and all the other bits and pieces, but the PB just feels nice and sporty. And I'm going to get a lot of questions over the, over the coming videos, you know, are you going to leave sub-70? Well, I am leaving sub-70 because I'm going SSDR, because I want to carry more fuel. That's, that's the main reason for that. Um, but I, I'm really enjoying the PB flying, the, this style of flying. The, not so much the exposure, but the, um, the simplicity of it. You know, I've done some a, a quick bit of maintenance on the uh, on the belt on this, and it, it took 20 minutes. You know, simple Halford's toolkit. Um, the the ability to walk around the aircraft quickly and do the pre-flight inspection on it is simple. Um, probably about half the time it takes me to do the uh, the Quantum, but then that's a four-stroke. Um, but I am just so, so enjoying this sort of the light side of the flying. And all I wanted to do is just fly to other places and two hours just wasn't enough if I couldn't get fuel. So I was limiting myself to an hour and a half. Uh, for safety reasons, I always like to land with a little bit of reserve. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's just a fun way of flying. And those that know me personally know that I've flown a lot of aircraft over the years. And the sub-70 light side of flying is just fun. And also those that will probably will have noticed in that camera, I've got the bigger wheels on at the moment, which I've also had to reduce my fuel load even more to keep myself within that 75 kilos. So there's always little things where, although I've had to learn to fly a bigger aircraft, the um, the, the benefits of remaining with this aircraft but putting all those little bits more comfortable wheels more fuel um, has uh, is really appeal appealing to me i'm nearly at jcb now i mean ground speed we're, we're hoovering along at 44 miles an hour 
uh, which is quite nice actually. Uh, there's not really a lot of wind today, not much at all. I think one thing I will be adding, and I, I, it's just a personal preference, others may go, why, is I really would like to have a nice little hand throttle here so I could relax my feet, just rest them on the bar. That would be a nice addition. It is feeling weird flying on my own in the area where I'm having sort of the exercise, what they call the exercise area for Darley Moor. Um, having still not got my license yet. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'm actually flying just off the side to Alton Towers and I'm watching Nemesis go round and Oblivion. And uh, it just feels a bit surreal having ridden on them. Whether I'd be down there wanting to be on the rides or up here flying. It's a very much a, a kind of personal preference. I think for me, I'd rather be flying. No queuing, I'm in control of it. There's, uh, there's some people on Oblivion. Just rolling up to the edge before the drop. Three, two, way down they go. Whoosh! Sorry, I'm such a child. I think if I ever come back up here on my PB, one of the flights I do really, really want to do is um, is I want to fly to Lady Bower um, and then come back. That would be a really good flight. I'm not sure if any of the viewers have actually flown there, but I would say put a comment in the uh, in the video if you have. Yeah, there really isn't a lot of wind today. I think it's about four mile an hour difference. I've uh, deliberately left my radio on today because a, it's a bit murky in the visibility. It's all right, it's legal, but it's just a little bit murk. And there's two days this week where it's really flyable, and this is day two. So I'm working on the premise that everybody is going to be trying to get out and fly. Um, and as I'm on the safety comp frequencies, what Darley Moore use, I will um, just keep an ear out to find out what's going on with the world. I've been chatting with other PB and uh, sort of BBB owners, and the one thing that is distinctly different between flying something like the Quantum um, and this is that you pull the bar in. There's not actually a lot of bar you can pull in, and the thing just doesn't come down. So I've looked up. I get a lot of comments, or I had in the early stage of my video, people saying, why are you doing a powered approach? And it's because it's the only way to come in. You've got to come in a lot lower than you would do normally. You can't just pull the bar in. It, it, it will come down, but it just, it's just not at the rate you'd expect. Right, so rejoin checks. Uh, Fuel is on sufficient for a go round if required. I'm back off on QNE, uh, QFE, QNE, QFE. Uh, I have a visual with the airfield trimmer, it's set. And there is no secondary throttle, there's no secondary passenger. And my helmet and harness is secure. And the radio is on. It does definitely feel up here. I was flying out at 43, it's going to 45 now, miles an hour. Um, it's coming in at 43, 45 miles an hour. It's almost like the air is just still stuck. I just realised I was in the wrong place for rejoining, because there's a few, uh, few of the locals that don't really like aircraft, and uh, I wouldn't want uh, Airways to get any phone calls because someone's flying overhead. I'd be surprised, generally, if they could hear me. But uh, let's do it properly. Darling more traffic from Golf Fox Trot 2 2, two miles to run, joining Dead Side Runway 19. Darling more traffic. It's so nice to be out today and just enjoying the warmth again. I don't know how many more weeks we're going to have this year of warm weather. I say weeks, days more like, or it feels like. Traffic, Golf Tanker down to inbound, five miles to run. Grass. 
see where the intersections are now. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Thanks to those that have actually got to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button and also the bell notifications so you'll be told when more of my content is coming out. This concludes the flight of my PB being classed as a sub 70. In the next video, you'll be shown how I've had to convert it and the process I've had to go through to get my PB re-registered with the Civil Aviation Authority as classed as what's known as SSDR, Single Seat Deregulated. And that is where I need my license to fly it. The moment that happens, I need a license to fly it. Same aeroplane, different classification. So anyway, let's leave the video here and until next time, fly safe everyone. Thank you.